Welcome to Teaching Tuesday. I'm Greg, your teacher, and I'm looking forward to teaching you all about external audio. Basha, can you hear me? Now, when creating videos, what I came to realize was the video quality wasn't as important as the sound quality. A subscriber or a person watching videos will watch a video that is pixelated and very low resolution. But the sound has been done properly, as in no static. You can hear the hear all the music, hear all the commentary, all that clearly. Chances are that the person watching the video will remain interested. So I'm gonna give you a few little teachers tips and tricks to, to improve the sound quality of your on your videos. First thing you first set, set of equipment you're gonna need is some sort of external microphone. Currently I'm using the Rode Video Mark. I'm oh, sorry, the Rode Video Mark. <laughs> It's mounted on the camera, but I've got it plugged into my Zoom H1N, which is an external audio recorder. You guys don't need the, this kind of thing. I mean, the sound recorder in most camera bodies is quite good. You do, however, need, it's just that the microphone is terrible. In fact, while I'm talking here, I'm going to switch it over. This is the this is what in a built-in microphone will sound like. And now while I'm talking, you just bah! and now we're back to the good sound. So yeah, I would suggest first thing you do is upgrade your microphone. <laughs> now you have many options. Uh, you can go shotgun. You can go. Lav or Lavalier microphone, which is the we all know them. You see them on TV. The little clips on into your clothing. It's very discreet. Stays nice and hidden. Shotgun marks, mini marks, micro marks. They all out there. A big question I'm often asked regarding external sound is the in post production we line up the external audio with the, the video. Now, in order to do this, we need to create a, a basically a marker, which will come up on the timeline when we place the video and the, and the audio on the same timeline. So the way I do it is, once the um, audio recorder is recording, and once the video is recording, nice and easy, I use the three clap method. Go. Now, okay, so here I'm using our movie to edit. As you can see on the timeline, I've got my video with attached audio. This is the audio from the, the built in microphone, and then below that, I have placed the external audio. Now you can see these on the audio timeline and on both audio timelines, you can see the three crests or pinnacles um, where I clapped. Now all I do is I line these up like that and then detach the the built-in audio, delete it, and now the audio lines up. There we go, guys. And that's how you capture quality audio. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and you did learn something today. Most people will be seeing me for the first time, and as such, I'm gonna ask that if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and smash the bell icon for notifications of future videos, especially for the next episode of Teaching Tuesday. All right, guys, see you at the next one. I'm Greg, signing out. Catch you later.